Told you earlier this week about a Tuscaloosa man who died at Huntsville Hospital after being bitten by a copperhead snake. Reporter Corey McGinnis has more on how warm weather is a big draw for snakes. Jared Ryan describes the moment he went fishing at the end of this stock when an unsuspecting slithering water moccasin snake took him by surprise at Smith Lake in Walker County. You walking through that grass and everything down there to go fish or whatever. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be a poison snake down there on the water. He says the snake was attracted to his rattle trap lure, and that's when he quickly reacted. A lot of times, it's better to go ahead and be safe and shoot now. Ryan says he's seen four snakes just this year alone, but as the climate changes, this nuisance is on the move, and snake bites are common. They're slippery and sneaky, and they can bite you without warning. They're not going to just aggressively attack somebody. Snake educator Jay Eubanks says don't enter potential snake habitat carelessly and says Baker's bite is rare. Don't mess with a snake. If you see it, give it a wide berth, uh, give it its space, let it go about its business, and uh, you know, don't increase your level of risk by actually messing with the animal. He shows me this cotton mouth, which is the copperhead's closest cousin. Generally regarded as more dangerous um, because they have a, a bigger venom load. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention says in part it has been estimated that 7,000 to 8,000 people per year receive venomous bites in the United States, and about five of those people die. Baker is one of the five. I feel sorry for the family because it's unexpected. Meantime, Ryan continues to keep a close eye out for these legless reptiles and warns everyone else to pay close attention. You gotta watch your surroundings. If you're gonna be in the water, I mean, snakes are gonna be out there. Again, experts say if you see a snake, just leave it alone. They're more afraid of us than we are of them.